previously on Survivor. Eilish is a snake. Travis is a snake. What? Well, that was interesting. Looks like tribal lines are pretty decimated. But now that you are the final 10, you've also made it to the next week and the next reward challenge, which we will start now. In this box, there are 10 numbers. Um, and you will draw a number. Once you get your number, you can show it to people. It doesn't really matter. Don't look, but draw a number. All right. There are numbers one through five. There are two of each number. Find your partner. One. Come on. It's me and you. It's me and you. Alright, so your next reward challenge is for the sponsors. So for your next reward challenge, you are going to be in pairs making videos or commercials for the products that I gave you. You can make videos for Pamperin, Zapsit, or Sunin, and you can make up to two videos. When you make your videos, you'll send them to me, I'll send them to the sponsors, and the sponsors are gonna choose who wins the challenge. The winners of the challenge are each going to receive an individual advantage in the game, but two pairs will win. One pair will win the individual advantage. The other pair, if you want to post them on social media, it's whoever gets the most views on their videos will win money that the sponsors will send you. Does that sound good? All right. So you have until Tuesday at noon to send me your videos. You'll find out who won the challenge at your next immunity challenge. Next week is going to be Tuesday challenge and tribal council because Thursday you will have another challenge and then tribal council. Because we need to be done with this before finals. So that's what I'm doing. That's my solution. Congratulations for making it to the top 10. Doesn't seem like it was easy. Hopefully you'll make it to the top nine. We'll find out on Thursday. We'll find out on Tuesday, actually. You thought Griffin was gonna vote Natalie? Yeah, when I saw Victoria's name out of the box, I thought it should be six to four now. Yeah. Dude, I would tell you if I was the one who voted for it, but you also went against my plan. True, but I had to convince them not to vote for you. Interesting. Let's tell you the truth. Are you gonna work with me after this? Yeah, Everything I said was true. I, I mean, yeah, and I think that you're gonna think over. That's up to you. Obviously, I have no home now. Why do you think Griffin was the one switched? Because he was the only person in on the plan to vote Natalie out of. I didn't tell you to vote for Natalie. Mm. That's true, you did not. Because I was afraid you would tell Eilish to use the idol on to Natalie. Interesting. I don't really know. The thing is, I do want to work with you. But I have to think about it. Of course. I feel like both sides kind of went against me this time. And that's fair. And the only way, the only thing that I can do here, trust me, is that I had to convince my tribe to not vote for you. I believe that. I want Cole gone. I want Travis gone. I want Eilish gone. Travis let his paranoia put our team in the worst position we have ever been in in this entire game. Oh, guys, I'm so scared I'm on the chopping block. This is about me. This vote is about me. This vote is so about me that we should vote off someone who is working in good faith with us. All of the things he said were based on nothing. Were based on Cole, who is a pathological liar. Nothing he has ever said has been true and without an agenda. Every single thing out of that guy's mouth is to get us to do something, and we fell for it. And Eilish? Well, two people were in that room crying. Eilish starts laughing. I don't care if you don't like us, all right? 
No one's asking you to give sympathy. No one's asking you to pat anyone on the back or even act nice towards them. But God, could you at the very least do nothing? To laugh? I want all three of them out of this game, and I know I'm not in a good spot to be saying that right now, but I will do whatever it takes to make sure that happens. So right before Tribal, um, my alliance, that the bus, the old bus, decided to switch um, targets to Natalie because we knew that, that Eilish wouldn't play her idol on Natalie, right? And we roped in Griffin to make it six, just in case. Here's the issue. Griffin was the whole time was on the other side. Um, he never once flipped over to us. He was always working for Eilish, always. Um, so, great actor, by the way. He's doing a great job. Um, so, he knew that Eilish wasn't gonna play the idol on Maddie, or on, I'm sorry, on Natalie, and was fine with whoever went home between Natalie and Annabelle. So, when we get into the tribal room and the first vote that's pulled out is freaking Victoria, I was blindsided by that. Because Victoria's, because we thought the whole time Natalie had flipped. So when I saw Victoria's name, my stomach dropped. My heart was beating so hard because I knew at that point we had made a mistake. Um, now, Natalie was lying to us the entire time. Natalie kept that information that Eilish had an idol the whole time because Eilish told Natalie that she was going to play it on her. So I don't feel terrible. I don't feel like super, super bad. But um, Natalie was still going to vote with us. Had we voted Victoria, or had we not roped in Griffin and voted Victoria, Victoria would have been voted out. The Blue Tribe did an extremely good job of playing us um, and getting us paranoid. Now, they got us paranoid for the right reasons, but dang, they did a great job. All right, so last night we had tribal and holy shit, it was insane. There were people crying and when Natalie walked out, she called Eilish and Travis snakes. It was so dramatic and so funny, um, but it went way better than we expected. So last night, what happened before tribal was that I got a call from Keegan and he FaceTimed me and asked me come to come meet them, the whole like former yellow tribe, except for Natalie down at Ped Walkway. Um, and when he called me, I was happy because that makes uh, me think that um, they trust me. But, and then he made me stay on FaceTime the whole, whole, whole walk down to Ped Walkway, which is kind of like a little scary. And it's like, he really does not trust me at all, which makes me not trust them. Um, and so I went down there and then there were like no phones out. No, they just didn't want any word getting out because we were trying to make a last minute plan of who to vote. Um, so we talked about that and they wanted to either vote Maddie or Victoria, but they weren't sure who the idol was going to play on or who the Eilish's idol was going to get played on. So they went with Natalie because, so they have this whole idea that um, Natalie and Eilish were like super close, but like that never happened. Like. I don't know how, where they got that idea. I think Cole kind of, Cole did say once that he, um, he told them that they have rats in their group. And I think that like convinced them that, um, Natalie was like not part of it, but she really was with them. So I talked with them and I had them fully convinced that I was like working with them and that I was fully on their side, but I was freaking out because I didn't have my phone and I wasn't able to tell Eilish that to not play her idol. Um, and that they were going to vote Natalie. So that came down to like very last minute. Um, and then like we sw all switched phones when we were walking tribal council and we separated. So no one had their own phone. So I couldn't be texting anyone, which is like, they're taking crazy precautions. Uh, now, once we got to tribal, I was freaking out because I had to figure out a way to get, I tell Eilish, um, that to not play her idol. Um, so I tried to, I went to the, I went to the bathroom and tried to, cause when Maddie and Victoria left to go get a snack, I went um, to try to follow them and like get their attention, but I couldn't get their attention in time. Um, and so during tribal, um, when Eilish was sitting behind me and I like worded to her, I was like, do not play the idol. Like I tried my best and then she understood that. Um, and so she didn't play the idol and then 
the whole yellow tribe was like in despair. They were all freaking out because they realized someone flipped. Um, it was honestly just kind of funny seeing that um, they were pissed that, and I'm pretty sure they know that I, they do know that I flipped now. Um, but Keegan has also come to me already, and I might be able to get back in with them. I have a feeling that they're just playing me at this point, but um, I'll see what I can do with that. It ended up being Natalie because Maddie accidentally voted Natalie because she thought that's what everyone else was gonna do, but which is fine. We still got one of them out. We, it's five, five former blue, five former yellow now, um, which is much better odds than we had last time. And we have an idol on our side since uh, Isla still has her idol. Um, so I think we're in way better shape than we were last week, and I'm excited to keep going. <laughs> that was the best hour of my life ever, 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 bro. Okay, <clears throat> I can't. I like literally do not even know where to start with this right now. So as y'all know, I was confused. I was like, who am I gonna use the idol on? Blah, 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 blah. And so I'm up there stressing and I'm like, am I about to waste my idol on someone? Like, I don't even know who they're going for. Like, I'm like so stressed out the entire tribal council. And at the very end of tribal council, I make eye contact with Griffin and Griffin's like, and I'm like, what the fuck? And he's, blah, blah, blah. and he's like, and I was like, what? Like, I thought he was trying to, like, anyways, long story short, Griffin's telling me, don't play the idol. And I was like, are you crazy? Like, we are at minority. And then he's like, Natalie. And I'm like, Natalie? I'm like, Natalie knows I have the idol, but I'm like, there's no way they're going for Natalie. And so I'm like, and he's just like, mm -mm -mm -mm. and so and Nate gets up there and Nate's like, oh, if you have an immunity idol, now's the time to play it. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, fuck. And oh, this is crazy, this kid is crazy. So I'm like, okay, well, if Griffin's telling me not to play the immunity idol, that means I don't need to waste it on, that means I don't have to waste it on anyone and I can save it for myself. So I was like, sure. I will do that, even though I very willingly would have like done it for Maddie, but he's telling me not to use it, and I know he didn't flip on Maddie, so I'm like, okay. And so, it goes, Victoria, Natalie, Annabelle, Natalie, Annabelle, Natalie, Annabelle, Natalie, Annabelle. I don't know if that was the right number. Um, it's a tie between Natalie and Annabelle, and neither of those people are on the blue tribe. And I look around, the yellow tribe is in shambles, shambles, like they're freaking out. And like, like Elizabeth's over here crying and Travis is like, ah, and then like Keegan's like, oh, and then Bradley, I don't know if Bradley knows what's going on. And then Annabelle's like, oh, and then like Natalie's, she, I don't know if y'all remember that deal. But Natalie was like, oh, since I know you have the idol, if my name is said more than three times, I'm telling everyone you have the idol. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, please, 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 please. It was not me because I told Blue Tribe to go all Annabelle and that is what they did. And so I'm looking at Natalie and I'm like, I'm like, it wasn't us, it wasn't us. I was like, mm -mm 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 -mm. and then Natalie was like, she looked at me and said something and she was like, I'm gonna tell them. And I was like, you don't need to, we didn't do this. And then everyone's like, like, what do you have to tell her, Annabelle, or Natalie? And let me set the scene. Yellow Tribe in shambles, like crying, freaking out, throwing up, like calling their moms, going to the bathroom. Everyone's like losing their minds. Like just, they're, they're losing it. And like Blue Tribe celebrating our dub because none of us went home and I didn't have to use my idol. So I am like on cloud nine. Natalie looks at me and she's like, Eilish has the idol. And everyone looks at me and I'm like, I'm like, well. Also, Elizabeth is running the show because Natalie and Annabelle, the people that are tied for this vote, Isabel pulls up her little chair in the middle of them and whisper, whisper Annabelle, whisper, whisper Natalie. And I'm like, I literally said, I was like, y'all, she's over here two-timing y'all. Cause how are the two people that it got tied for are being consoled by the same person? Nate counted the votes, Natalie still went home, whatever. And this fine lass, on her way out, she picks up her stuff, la da da, she's getting voted out. She goes, Travis Snake, Eilish Snake. And I was like, 
snake? I am not a snake. And so I was like, I was like, I'm a snake for having an idol. And she was like, no, you're a snake for orchestrating all of this with Travis. And I was like, what the fuck? And okay, first of all, I don't appreciate her coming for, to my, like coming at my character like that because it's not true. I am not a snake. I am loyal to who I say I'm gonna be loyalty, loyal to. And that is for all facets of my life. Like loyalty is my thing. And so anyways, that pissed me off. Then Nate announces an award and a reward challenge. And he's like, draw a number, draw a number, draw a number. I draw number three. You wanna know who else drew number three? Travis. Travis, my bestie guy, my homie G. All sarcasm. This man hates me now. And it is so fucking funny. Cause I look at his face and he's like, oh man, I got eyes. Like he's pissed that he got me for this challenge. And so like I skew my little seat up to him and I'm like, hello Travis, how are you? What's up everybody? I'm in a Harry Potter fit tonight. But I definitely caused a lot of drama at tonight's travel. Um, I did inform Travis that Natalie was a narc, but I also said that there was another narc on their team. So I hope they still believe that after tonight's tribal because me saying Natalie was a narc and it being true kind of gives me validity. So I hope Travis in the back of his head is like, oh shit, we have another oh, narc on the team. Please. I definitely said Natalie was a narc after Eilish told me. But my team is like praising me like a hero. They're like, oh my God, Cole, this is perfect. Like we didn't even have to worry about anybody on our team being voted out. <laughs> Which who even knows if they're genuine? Like at this point, they could definitely see right through my bluffs and just like try and say I'm a good teammate. But I don't even know. What I do know, however, is that I didn't get voted out. Nobody on Blue Tribe got voted out. And I think those are two positive things. But I definitely feel like there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of emotions tonight. I mean, some people were on the verge of tears, if not Bro, crying. People were actually crying. People were crying. There were some folks crying. I was not one of those people. If you look in the video, I'm actually smirking and laughing the whole time, which is kind of disrespectful, but I don't know. I did, I hate to say this, but I had a good time at Tribal. <laughs> and I'm very interested to see what drama comes in the following days. Stay tuned. It's another beautiful day of having the best job in the world, being an officer of the fun police. Every day, hundreds of thousands of people have way too much fun. That's where I step in. Wherever I am, I make sure the fun levels are at a minimum. Not everyone I come across seems to listen after their first or second or even third demerit, but eventually everyone has come to respect my authority. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. It's a life of service and dedication, but I do it for everyone's sake. But there's one group of people I can't stand. Blondes. With their glowing hair and their equally glowing personalities, their fun is simply unstoppable. Every time I've tried, there's always been some serious trouble. But nowadays, with the power of sun in, anyone can become blonde and have all the unstoppable fun that blonde people have. No! Oh, blonde Does someone you know suffer from period pain? You could try comfy stuffed animals, or delicious dark chocolate, or even expensive gifts. But why fight the symptoms? When you could get to pampering. Don't just treat, pamper. Is it cold out there? My face is breaking out. My skin is dry. I don't know if I can handle fall much longer. I need to do something. I gotta call somebody. Who should I call? <sighs> Whatever. I guess the day's over now. Guess I don't really have much to do. Guess I can kick back and watch some TV. What is this? Hello, Cole. You need Zapson. 
Zapsid is an oil-free, alcohol-free cleanser. It penetrates deep into the pores to help eliminate most blemishes and keep pores clog-free. Get Zapsid today. Well, gee whiz, with the price of acne treatment gel being less than $5, what the heck am I still doing here? I can get my face clean with no blemishes in no time. Thanks, Zapsid. I'm going to the store. So tonight we have our new, our next challenge in Tribal Council right after it. And so we don't have a lot of time to plan or talk about who um, we want to vote off. Um, I know that the Yellow Team Alliance, the one that there still is, um, has agreed to vote on Eilish tonight. This is our first round pick. Um, we know that she is an idol, and but... Keegan said some. I think it was Keegan said something smart. He was like, "If she, if we keep not voting her off just because um, she has an idol, then she's just gonna ease her way all the way through um, till the very end." So we're going with her um, tonight, and then the second vote that they said was Maddie, which me and Maddie are um, actually pretty close, and so. It makes me kind of sad because I'm like, she, I love her as the person and I want her to still be in the game. So I'm hoping that Eilish goes, doesn't play her idol and Eilish goes, um, but we'll see. So see how this, um, travel council goes compared to last week's, which was very intense. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just crunching the numbers on who I thought was going home tonight. And here is my official rankings on what I think is going to happen associated with a probability of how likely I think it is to happen. At the very top of things, I think that there is a 50% chance that Eilish goes home tonight. What needs to happen in order for that to occur is A, Eilish needs to not win immunity, and B, she needs to not play her idol. I think I've done a good enough job convincing her that me and Elizabeth are voting Travis, that she feels safe enough to not play her idol tonight. Um, but one other thing that that's contingent upon is if Griffin votes with us. I believe he will, but in the past he's been a little bit shaky. Um, in addition to that, I got an extra vote for having the best advertisement. Thank you, thank you. I worked very, very hard on it. So hopefully I won't have to, but I think I'm going to play my extra vote tonight just to be safe and make sure that we have the numbers. Uh, just beyond that, I think there is a 30% chance that Travis is going home. Um, if Eilish doesn't win immunity and she does play her idol, then all of Blue Tribe, I think, is voting for Travis, which means that Travis is the next person uh, who's most likely to go. I'm going to put 10% on Annabelle, because if Travis wins immunity and Eilish plays her idol, Blue Tribe has all agreed to vote Annabelle. I'm sorry if that's the way that the, the dominoes fall tonight, Annabelle. I really have nothing against you. I know I wanted you out in the beginning, but ever since the the merge there's really been no reason to and you've been very very nice to me so my bad uh at the very bottom of the list tying with annabelle i'm gonna put 10 percent odds on me going home tonight everyone knows that i got some form of advantage earlier at the merge and uh today i'm gonna be receiving another advantage in front of everyone so um hopefully people won't view me as that big a target but who knows? It's kind of all up in the air right now, but I'm hoping that I can really pull things together. In addition to that, because there's only a 10% chance that I'm going home and a 90% chance that I'm staying, here's what I'm going to do. It's not worth it to play my immunity idol, but on the off chance that I'm out of the game, I want to give it to Elizabeth so that at least one of the two of us has a fighting chance in this game. That's my plan for tonight. Let's see how it goes. So here's what's happening. Um, I got 10% odds on me getting voted home tonight. Yeah. So 90% odds I'm not. And that's good enough odds for me to not play the idol. But in the off chance that I do get voted out, I want to make sure that Elizabeth has some tools to protect herself. Yeah, I'm gonna drop her in here. <laughs> now, we just got to do the most important thing in tennis, follow through. <laughs> <laughs> 
First things first, I want to congratulate the winners of this sponsored reward challenge. <laughs> so, there were supposed to be 10 videos submitted, but there were only four. Oh, yeah. Two of them were from Keegan and Victoria. One of them was from Briley and Cole, and one of them was from Elizabeth and Maddie. And the winning video was the Fun Police. Yeah! All right, so congratulations for that. And now, we'll get to your immunity challenge. So Eilish, I need the idol back. Thank you. For today's challenge, you'll be playing a memorization game. Yeah. To start it off, I'm going to pull two names out of the box, and that's going to determine who goes first. Those two people are going to come over here, watch a video, and at the end of the video, I'm going to ask you a question. First one to grab the idol will be the one that can answer that question. Uh, first person to grab it answers. If you answer correctly, you move on. If you answer incorrectly, you are out of the challenge and the other person moves on. The person to move on will then choose the next two people to go. Can we just volunteer to go? Let's you go. can, yeah, you can ask the person who won. Just say you go first. Yeah, I want to go first. You want to go first? Yeah. All right, so I'll pull one in out of the box, and that person will go against Victoria. Um, you know that, like, decreases your chance. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. y'all ready? Yep. Okay. All right, here's all your names. If I draw Victoria, I'll just draw again. All right, person going first against Victoria. Got it. All right, so you all come up here, and we'll get everything set up. All right, put your hands in your lap, and then just keep them there. This screen, at the end, it's going to show that same screen. So once it, once you see that screen again, it's over. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all ready? Okay. All right. Okay. We're okay. going. Just tell me when it, whenever you're ready. Yeah, we're ready. All right. Wait, can I describe the video? No. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Was the bottom stripe? Oh. You gotta grab the idol if you want to. Green. No. <laughs> Yellow. It was red. red. You're out. Yeah. All right. That was, so <laughs> that was so hard. That was so hard. Maddie, good job. Stand up and choose. Okay. Um. Hmm. Elizabeth. Um. <laughs> okay. 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 And you, you don't. Oh wait, go I choose two. Yeah. Choose oh yeah. Two. Um. <laughs> So y'all are going to watch the same video that they watched, and I'm going to ask a different question. Remember, if you want to answer, grab it. If you don't want to answer, I guess don't grab it, but you shouldn't. Alright, ready? In the picture while it was raining. Showers. Sorry. Go. Alright, choose the next two people. Elizabeth, you show the picture. So I choose the next two people? Yeah. When you see this screen, it's over. This is not part of it. Ready?
planets. What was the planet that was Saturn. You go. All right, good job. Choose the next two people. Uh, 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 Wait, can I go again? Yes. Else is going yep. Thank you, Charles. Okay. I'll watch the same one that they just did. I won't ask the same question. All right, ready? that were in the champagne glasses? Um, red, blue, yellow, green. That's correct. <laughs> Choose the next two people. He didn't get it. You ready? How many of the athletes had medals? Three. That's correct. Whoever wins this moves on, faces Keegan, and then they're going to answer best two out of three based on the last slideshow. Make sure your chair is touching the leg of the table. All right. Ready?
All right. What was the second animal shown? Orca to the right. Yes. That's correct. What? All right. I'm going to change it to the last slideshow. Orca. What? All right. This one is longer, and the questions are more difficult. Is there just one question? There's three questions, so whoever gets two. Or if... If she misses. Yeah, if the other person misses. Okay. All right. Ready? Hands me up. What color was Australia? <laughs> what was the most common shape in the slideshow? Circle. That's correct. All right, Cole, if you get this question right, you win immunity. Keegan, you need this one to stay alive. Wait, can I say two questions, right? Yes. Two out of just on this last one. How fast was the car traveling? Zero miles per hour. That's correct. What color was under number one? <laughs> uh, I got a 50-50 chance. Yeah, it's a Congratulations. You have a one in nine shot of winning this game. One of you will actually go home in about 30 minutes. Alright, now we'll bring in the members of our jury. Natalie voted out at the last travel council. Start with, mm, start with Keegan. <laughs> Keegan. Last Tribal Council, I was under the impression that tribal <laughs> lines were still very intact. And then there were 10 votes for a member of the Yellow, the former Yellow Tribe. What, what happened last Tribal Council? Explain, explain all that to me. Um, I think what happened was you know, we were in a good position, and like any time in this game that you feel safe, that's the moment that you should be the most worried. And I think we were sitting in a good spot, and it just felt too good to be true. And we sort of let, you know, paranoia get to us a lot more than we should have let. And so, you know, Hindsight is twenty twenty, but in the moment it felt very, very real, and it felt like you know um, something bad was going to happen if we didn't make the choices that we did. There were two main goals of this reward challenge: one, to promote our wonderful sponsors, and two, to make some new connections. Now, I didn't mess with anything; it just so happened that everybody was paired with somebody who was on the former opposite tribe. So have you seen any new connections forming from that? I don't think I've seen any like new connections visibly, but I don't know. Oh, well, Victoria can get a message. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But I'm sure people did make new connections. I just don't see anything visibly. So something could be going on that I don't know about. What? Did you make a new friend? I think yeah, Maddie got a little bit of Yeah. Maddie's my friend now. Good. <laughs> yeah. With Tennessee being ranked number one <laughs> in the polls, how does that affect your vote tonight? You know, Tennessee, that's my favorite sports team right now. And Tennessee football, <laughs> Hidden Hooker, those are the guys. And Jalen Hyde, of course, got to give him a shout out. But the way it affects my vote tonight is coming into this challenge, I was super thrilled because literally minutes before, I saw that we were ranked number one. So I think I had that good mentality. I had no nerves. I had no anger. I came in excited. And that helped me, uh, you know, memorize things to get this, to get this idol. And the way it's going to let me vote tonight is I'm going to have that hidden hooker mentality. And I'm going to throw it 50 yards deep. You know, is it what the team always needs? The answer is absolutely yes. It's a touchdown every time. Jalen Hyatt, six points. And I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm going to be completely honest. I, didn't know how to answer that I think that was a perfect answer. I didn't know how to answer that question at all, but... I mean, I'm, I am going to have quarterback confidence. Okay. Is that actually my question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Continue, everyone. All right. Griffin, has there been any speculation on the individual reward that Keegan and Victoria now have? Um, not really. I mean, I, from what I've heard, I haven't really heard people speculating about it. Have you? I mean, like, I've thought about it. So, I mean, I've been going around asking people. I think it's probably like a simple, like, I doubt it, maybe I have a blue, like, extra vote, something like that. I doubt it's anything too big. Eilish, before the revote last week, Natalie called you and Travis snakes. No, I did that after I got voted out. Yeah. <laughs> after Natalie was voted out last week, she called you and Travis snakes and also said to everybody that you have an idol. How's that affected your social game coming into this week? Um, well, looking back, I can see from her perception, or her perspective, why she thought I was a snake. But, um, I think the people that know me know that that's not true about myself. And so, socially, I don't think it's affected. The snake part hasn't affected too much, but obviously everyone knows I have an idol, so that's gonna affect me. So you just openly admit to it after okay, after she called having an idol? Well, I mean, there's not much to deny it, like. Right. And uh, now that you have the floor, do you have anything to say to Natalie to mend that? Because she's she's your jury right now. She is she is all of the jury votes. Yeah. Well, for Aggerly's, so I think that bonds us in some way. But like I said, from her perspective, I would have thought the same thing. But my immediate reaction was like annoyance that she would say that, and like her telling everyone that I the idol was part of her deal. So it's not like she did anything. Like Annabelle, last week you received a total of nine votes to be voted out, and you survived without having an idol played on you. I'm pretty sure that that is the most votes anyone's ever had cast for them and not, <laughs> and not lost the game without an idol being played for them. Nine? Nine. Because five for the tie and then four after the re -vote. How does how does that feel? And how does how does it feel to have survived? And how does it feel to have nine votes cast against you? Well, I, I would definitely say I was surprised. I was surprised by the end vote. Um, it's hard to be happy and it's hard to be sad about it. Like I was relieved, but also like not even our friends, and so it did you know hurt me for her. Um, I don't know. I probably took it way too personally. <laughs> I know it was badly hard. But it's, I get it. It was it's the game and it makes me sad actually because I really thought I was making new alliances and I still am totally open to them. Um, but it does put me a little on on edge because now I don't know who I can, can fully trust. So Interesting. Riley, there are ten people left in the game. Percentage wise, scale of Zero to 100, what are your chances of winning this game? 30%. Ooh, all right. 45. <laughs> 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 50. 50 
Fifty percent chance. So if I were to spin a wheel, one out of okay, two. Okay, forty-five. <laughs> maybe, maybe forty-three. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at 43. Yeah. And with that, <laughs> it is time to vote. Uh, Annabelle, you're up first. I honestly don't even have any words for this. I hope she's out because she can't get serves. You just seem like a very good social and physical threat, and so we want to get you out. Sorry. I hope I sold it enough to where you don't play your idol. If I didn't, then it's my own acting skills that got me sent home, so. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I'm very nervous, but hopefully this works. Pretty God, you're not playing an idol tonight. I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right. This is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Eilish will not count. First vote, Eilish. Eilish. Eilish does not count. Eilish does not count. Eilish does not count. Eilish. Keegan. Keegan. That's two Keegan. Keegan. The seventh person voted out of Survivor UTK and the second member of our jury. I like all you guys. You're so fun. It was great, man. Try to spoke. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Successful idol play turned a tied vote into Keegan going home. So congratulations, final nine. I'll see you guys on Thursday. All right, bookies. Looks like it was 10%. I uh, wasn't really expecting that, but hey, what can you do? Um, I'm hoping Eilish is still on the bottom of the voting block because I saw a lot of names that were not mine. Um, really happy I gave that key away. Rooting for you, Elizabeth. Everyone else, just hope you have fun.